Formless, empty, and dark, the earth was at the start. Let there be light, God said, and then there were two parts. Light he called day, and darkness he called night. And this was just the start of God's show of might. God proceeded on the second day. His power he continued to display. An expanse was made to separate the waters. God called it heaven, and then evening came after. Land and sea were next to be. God spoke, then came forth plants and trees. The earth brought forth all kinds of seeds, and God was truly pleased with his deeds. Two lights he created to illuminate and give sight. The greater light ruled the day, the other the night. Stars were next, in the sky they stood, and God saw that it was very good. God decided it was time to make creatures. The earth was almost a complete picture. Both winged and water kinds swarmed the earth, and in his perfect plan, there was no dearth. Let the earth bring forth the living creatures. That's how animals became a permanent fixture. Finally, God made man in his own image, and that began Adam's very own lineage. Creation was completed in their vast array, so God rested on the very seventh day. He blessed the day and made it holy, and that was the close of the creation story.